welcome back to page three, Hot Topics. You might recognize one of the faces on here. Jess, she is back. She's not been on um, for a few weeks. Uh, you may have seen her in the paper before. She is part of the panel. And, of course, we've got Kate and Chloe on board as well. Hello, girls. Welcome. So we are talking about Liz Truss resigning as PM yesterday, which was uh, to be expected in some sort of capacity. But the fact that it happened yesterday, it's all very fresh. Well, half of Brits are happy to vote for a celeb instead. Now, some of these celebs are quite good, such as Martin Lewis. He obviously knows his stuff about numbers. He's regularly on Good Morning Britain. Um, and uh, I'm sure that he could get us out of this financial chaos that we are all currently suffering from with the cost of living crisis. We've got Ricky Gervais in there. We've got David Attenborough, um, Gareth Southgate, um, all sorts. And maybe Boris Johnson is going to be coming back and putting his name in the hat. Do you want to see Boris again? So if you've got any comments about this, um, seeing as it's just happened, then put them in the comment section, then we can bring them up and discuss. We also did a poll on this as well, so we'll bring that up at the end of this topic. But Kate, first off, are you surprised that Liz did hand in her resignation yesterday so soon? Can't hear Kate, but we'll get her audio back on. Um, and in the meantime, let's ask Jess, because she's back on the panel this week. Um, Are you across this story, Jess? Um, yeah, I have, been, <laughs> I have been following it, but not that much. But no, I'm not surprised because I heard about the whole like massive U-turn thing. So no, I'm not surprised. I don't know. Sorry, that's, I know that's not the answer. Well, it's okay. No, I tell you what. A good question probably to ask is: Is there anybody that you would like to see take over? Anybody that you don't want to see, i.e., Boris Johnson has put his name into the hat again? Um, I wouldn't want to see Boris Johnson back there because obviously nobody likes him, including me. But. Uh, I don't know because I feel like anybody that goes in there is never going to be they're never going to be what you want them to be so no I don't know sorry I'm really bad with politics guys so I feel like I'm not really the person to ask but I think yeah everyone, but, I mean that's quite reflective right everyone is so sick and tired of politicians saying they'll do something and then not doing it so I completely understand why you slightly switched off from the politics side of things yeah Chloe so, let's ask you now, I would you like to see Martin Lewis? Who would you like to see in there now? Boris Johnson back. I want to hear about Peppa Pig World again. I just want him back. Like, I love him so much. Like, I just think he's so cute. He just makes me smile and just a bit of laughter every day. I'd love to see Boris back. So it's the personality for you that you really Yeah. Like. Yeah, and I just think he's so cute and cuddly and I love his haircut and, oh, he's just cute. Oh, He's million, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people think what is his thing with with oh. women, but this is a classic case. We're seeing it. Uh, we're seeing it on Hot Topics right now. Uh, Chloe, you've got a thing for him. That's really yeah. interesting. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, let's try your audio one more time uh, and see if it works. Would you like Boris Johnson back? Hopefully, when you come off mute, we'll be able to hear you. Can you? Oh, no, certainly wow. not. Kate, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down for Boris Johnson? <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down? No. Oh, thumbs down. Okay, so we've got... Oh. Jeff somebody on on your side for that one um shove them ladies give a chance to sunak this time just do you know about rishi sunak a little bit would you like to see rishi sunak back he was obviously in the running when um boris johnson went out and he was up against liz truss and they were the final two he obviously was the chancellor at the time too so he did all the furlough scheme etc but now we've obviously got the inflation of 10 percent. so would you like to see someone new or would you trust Rishi Sunak to be the PM? Uh, I wouldn't trust any of them, but I don't know enough about Rishi to say yes or no. Not that it matters what I say, but I don't know, guys. I need to do my homework then. I need to start reading the paper. Yeah, you do start reading the paper. There you go. Um, 
I can't even believe what my life's come to. I was watching Question Time last night, Pandora. Well, there we go. You see, you know, you're getting involved in politics. Now, yeah. Scott said, I think it should be Craig Revenhall. Now, he's on um, Strictly Come Dancing, or he was on Strictly Come Dancing, wasn't he? Yeah, I Chloe, know. I think I'm pretty sure. Give it a Google. Um, but yeah, he'd like to see him. What about Gareth Southgate, Jess? Who's that? Am I just living under a rock, man? I Who is living it? under a rock. So is there any celebrity that you would like to see become PM? No. <laughs> Who's Gareth? Is this a celebrity or, or someone in politics? He's an England football manager. Oh, <laughs> yeah, go on, chuck him in there then. I don't have a clue, guys. Sorry, I'm just is, there, is there anybody that you would like to see PM, Jess? Lord, your chance, Pandora. No, I, no. I can't think of anybody. No. <laughs> Jess, you, you've given up. You've given up on politics. I have. Sorry, guys. Um, like, Tim said it would be interesting to have Boris back, so very much in the camp of Chloe. Chloe, do you actually trust Boris with politics? I think he's just so sweet and cute. But we need someone to get us out of paying 10% more on our day-to-day -day goods when we go to the shop. Sweet and cute isn't going to cut it, surely. I think he was really good. We got us through all lockdown, to be honest. And he really did go for a tough time. So I do trust him. Yeah, he's lovely. And also one benefit is that Boris has got established relationships with world leaders and the royal family and stuff. You know, he it's not like he has to come in as a fresh face. Um, so that so that is one thing. Okay. Um, well, we obviously did the, the Daily Star live stream of um, the lettuce. I don't know if you guys have seen. But oh, over, yeah. <laughs> over the week, the Economist basically denoted to the fact that the lettuce would last longer. Um, yeah. And there's uh, And we were wasn't it wasn't it on Parliament? I like, see it like the big picture yeah, next so to the big bed. I couldn't believe it. Projected it onto Parliament last night. Um, I um, oh. Yeah, and understanding fair said the one that should be running is the lettuce, and it's true. It's true. Um, and it was on Question Time. It was mentioned on Question Time. I couldn't believe it. It's gone viral. <laughs> it's been obviously all over the Daily Star. It's been in the New York Times. It's been on the BBC. It's been on absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, really um, and essentially, the lettuce did win, um, and it's got over a million views, and it went absolutely crazy. So if you were watching the Daily Star Lettuce live stream, then thank you. Um, she had a disco. Um, there are big plans for lettuce in the future, and we will keep you updated on those top secret talks when we can. Uh, but it won't be the last you'll see of, of lettuce. And if you do have that souvenir edition of the Daily Star today, then do keep it, because... It's a moment in history, and the fact that it was shone onto Parliament mm. says it all, really. Um, but one thing which was quite amusing last night, um, and quite sad, um, really, actually, if we actually think about it in a, in a human way, uh, Liz um, is apparently a massive fan of Taylor Swift. Who knew? Um, so <laughs> when Panel 4 were doing their end of news segment, they put it out to um, Taylor Swift's song, um, which was which was rather amusing. So if you do um, have your phone on you, then do look that up. Um, but yes, lettuce for the win. And if there's anybody else that you'd like to see running for PM and you're watching this and catch us, and just pop it in the comments at the moment. No, I, said, I think I know why Kate's wearing green now, because of lettuce, is it? <laughs> I think it might be because of lessons. <laughs> Unfortunately, she cannot <laughs> talk. Um, but she's just going to be thumbs up and thumbs down throughout all of this. She is the stand-in lettuce whilst oh. lettuce takes a well-deserved break. Um, but there, but there is Kate um slash lettuce on the on the screen for us now. Um, give us a thumbs up, lettuce. <laughs> good okay then um well we're going to move on from politics now and we're going to talk about a casting call for prince harry uh, you have to be between 16 to 20 years old um a budding actor of some sort perhaps professional you know somebody well netflix are looking for someone to play prince harry uh, when he was that age for the Crown series. 
Um, so they're going to have a bit of a tough job finding him. They haven't found him so far. But if you do know any 16-year-olds which resemble a young Prince Harry, they'll have to have bright red hair, um, then uh, get in contact with Netflix. I'm sure it won't be a uh, underpriced job, that's for sure. But that brings me round to the conversation of the crown. So obviously it's a drama. Things will be dramatized. We don't know all of the conversations which happen within the royal family. Um, but obviously we hear bits and bobs and, and you know, we have sources and royal experts, etc. But we're not actually in the room when these conversations happen, right? But on the crown they make it seem like that is that is um that that is true um so my question is is this uh you know is this a good thing or a bad thing um that that they are making it look so realistic um kate up or down Yeah. Okay. So, so Kate, Kate thinks it's a good thing. Chloe, do you think it's a, do you think it's a bit worrying if people do take it as fact, even though despite the warnings of Netflix and from the royal family saying, you know, it's not fact, you know, it's just a drama. Do you think that it could cause um, a bit of, a bit of grief for the royal yeah. family? Yeah, definitely. I do think these things do go a bit too far on the Netflix and some of it shouldn't be shown. But yeah, definitely pay, yeah. I mean, you said that about last week about Marilyn, didn't you? Yeah, yes, I did, yeah. yeah. So do you think Netflix have a responsibility then? Yeah, definitely. I think that they should not show some things. I think they go a bit too far. They should like take some scenes maybe out for like... It just goes a bit too far on there, some things. But then it wouldn't be a drama if it wasn't dramatized, right? That's that's one of the things. Jess, do you have any thoughts on this? I know you're not a huge a huge fan, don't really follow the royal family, but obviously this is a Netflix series, so it's slightly different. We want to hear your opinion. I do actually really want to watch it. Like I take back everything I said. So I saw um, you know, uh Gogglebox, they mm. showed like a tiny bit of the Princess Diana bit, and it actually looked really, really good. Uh, so yeah, I, th I want them to carry on, and I want it to be really realistic and lifelike because that's what hooked me in. It doesn't matter if they're saying if it's like well, what is what, what's the problem? I never knew anything about the royal family until I watched that, and it really is good because it sort of you can watch it, have fun, and then you can learn about the royal family too. And I think it's a good way to get it out there to the world like so we all know the history yeah. of them and I, think, I think their issue also would be on that note is that if that's all you know about the royal family then that's the impression that you have of them a dramatization yeah. instead of like oh, yeah so that's their argument and they're like well actually those weren't the conversations that happened actually that wasn't the series of events and some of the scenes do paint some of the members of the royal family not in the best light it has to be bad um but Jess, you said you were really captivated by it and you definitely yeah. wanted to know more, right? So, so yeah, talk about it was good. I really enjoyed it. I don't like the royals, but I like Princess Diana and I like Harry. Yeah. So I really liked seeing that. So I'm going to watch it at some point. They've got a new viewer. Yeah. Woo! Well, there we go. And, and you, yeah. you have openly admitted it, admitted, right, that you didn't want to watch it. Um, that you didn't yeah, want to follow the royal family, right, or anything to do with it. But we've we've made you well. The Netflix have made you turn to, to want to watch it. They have, but it's only because you see the Queen being really horrible to Princess Diana. Yeah. So it's not like a supportive thing. It's like, a, oh yeah, I knew they were like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah like you cause know, backlash. Yeah, different like side to them. Kate, yeah. is your mic working? Should we give it a go one more time? Something tells me it's not going to work. Lettuce for today. <laughs> lettuce, I'll ask you then. Um, are you going to be tuned in to every single episode of the new series of The Crown? Oh. She is. 
She is. Well, there we go. So that's Lettuce's um, approval there. Um, I think also on the previous topic, one thing that we didn't bring up when we were talking about um, Liz Trust leaving was a poll. Um, so my apologies. So we'll bring that up if we can in just a second and see what you guys thought. Would you vote for a celebrity as a PM? Yes, 66%. No, 33%. So Lettuce, do you find it quite um, encouraging that people would vote for you, 66%? How are you? Up or down, thumb up or thumb down. Who's Lettuce? Kate. Oh. What is something? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Jess. Don't worry. Don't worry, worry. Yeah. In a lettuce and a lettuce green, and because she can't speak, she's now the lettuce. Ah, okay. um, <laughs> the penny, the penny, the penny. Jess is halfway behind there. I am. <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, Chloe, yeah. would you personally vote for a celebrity as a PM? For you, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity. So. Oh, you're gonna be a celebrity, P. A normal, a normal citizen. Um, but is there any celebrities that you'd be really keen to to step up to the plate? Um, maybe David Attenborough. He's so he's lovely, and he really knows a lot about the climate and history. Yeah. And I love his program, Frozen Planet. Maybe he'd be great. He'd be a fab yeah. one. He'd be absolutely. Yeah. Also, he's quite old now. Surely he deserves to rest. He does not need this stress. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need this stress. Um, Jess, are you surprised by the poll that 66% of people, given the current political situation, would vote for a celebrity? <laughs> um, no, I'm not that surprised. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I okay. Um, we're going to move on now from politics, the royal family, and we're going to talk about um, adult industry casting cars. So, some cars have been um, spotted in a little village uh, in Yorkshire um, with with an adult streaming site on the back of them, um, with casting car on the back. Now, some people have taken huge offence to this because this is obviously in plain sight where, you know, people can walk past with their children uh, and then they go, oh, look, what's that? You know, mummy or daddy or whoever it is walking them. Um, and then they have to explain exactly what that thing is. Some people are saying it, look, at the end of the day, you know, it's great advertising. We're talking about it now. What a brilliant campaign to get out there. Um, Jess. Do you yes. think this is appropriate? Uh, yeah, I think it's really funny. It's fine. They're not playing porn, are they? Did you say they're streaming something? It's not porn, though, is it? No, no, no. It's just the cars. Oh, it's fine. Like, worst case, kids are going to be like, oh, what's that about? And then you just be like, oh, it's for a website. And then if they're like, what website? You just be like, it doesn't matter. So pa parents have called it disgusting. Would you say that's a bit far? Maybe I've got like a skewed opinion because of my industry. But I don't think that's what really Is it like it's, it's fine? What do you guys think? Chloe, I, I love it. I love the colour of the car. If it was only me in the world, I'd love it. But not this world. It's disgusting, man. Imagine walking home <laughs> with your kids. Imagine, 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 imagine walking home with your little kid. Oh, mummy, I want that pink car. Yeah, you, can, you can't have that pink car. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not mm. right. Come on. It's not It's not a nice look. Like, I don't want to be walking down the street with my babies <laughs> and they're saying, oh, mummy, that's a pink Barbie car. It's not a pink Barbie car, is it? It's bad. It shouldn't happen. It's not right. It should be hidden. I like the pink car, but I don't like what it says. Don't agree with it, no. no. No, not at all. So, so Tim thought it was hilarious. Jess sees the funny side of things. Chloe doesn't agree. We'll take it to the lettuce now. Kate, who's on the call, you can't speak. Um, do you think this is inappropriate? Yes or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down, Kate? I think it's going to go thumbs down, I think. Oh, oh she's gone thumbs up. Oh, I thumbs agree. Up. I think it's a joke. 
Oh, it's just me then, sick in the head, clearly. No, 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 it's great yeah. advertising, it's great marketing, people are talking about it, and that's what you want when you come to a marketing campaign. What's like. the point, guys? I've missed this completely. I've not heard anything about this. What's the point? Like, why are they doing this? Are they just driving the cars around? It's just, yeah, it's just marketing. It's just a marketing campaign. That's why they're doing it, because... Who's driving the cars? I assume someone drops them off and puts them there and then comes to collect them when they've had enough photos sent around to all the media outlets. Like, oh, 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 no, no, no. What, does porn people drive the cars or is it just the media I people? I assume just a driver. I just think it's oh, a driver. Yeah, yeah they can yeah, okay. go on. I love that. If I saw that, I would lose my head. I'd be so like, oh, my God. So I think, oh, I think the issue is it's a very, really quiet little, you know, tiny, tiny village... There's hardly anyone around. You know, I'd kind of understand if it was in the middle of, like, a city and people would be like... Okay. They shouldn't be allowed to park near schools, I tell you. That is just... That's wow. actually a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Near schools, that's obviously a bit, like... That's a bit strange. It's like, yeah, come on. I think, I think that... Or, um, or even outside a church. No, come on. Like. Yeah, yeah, those are respectful boundaries. Um, but Tim said you have to find as much humour as possible in life. This is true. Keeps oh you young, God, Tim. Yeah. Keeps you young. <laughs> um, well, we took this to a poll to see what all of you guys thought about it. So let's have a look at the poll when we're ready. We can bring it up. Suspense, suspenseful. Oh. Um, oh, just being told by the producers, not a poll for this one. Um, oh, yeah. maybe we can bring back a poll at a later date. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to move on. Um, would you ever wear white to a wedding? An influencer, Gabby, um, wore um, a white dress with a floral pattern on for a summer wedding. She displayed it on TikTok um, and she has been slammed for it, essentially um, saying that you shouldn't do that. It's not respectful. Um, now, obviously, the floral patterns do kind of go, you know, mostly over it, but the background is still quite white. Jess, if someone wore that kind of dress to the wedding, would you be offended? Or would you be like, you go, girl, you look great? Um, yeah, if it was that, I'd be like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry. To be honest, even if I did get married and someone wore white, I would just be like, don't worry about it. I don't know. I just can't be bothered. I would never wear white. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, I'm literally the same with you there, Jess. Like, I don't know. I don't really see it as a big problem. Like, everyone knows you're the bride. You're, it's your day. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I just think wherever, wear, wear whatever you want to my wedding. I wouldn't be too fast, but some people would think that they're taking the bride's moment, wouldn't they? But I don't know. It's, kind of, it's just kind of that, you know, old traditional rule as you would never do that. That's, I think, that's the issue. But is here. that why? What, what she said? Is this dress too white for a wedding? I get scared of. Oh, it's because of the background. No, because it's like an off white colour. It's not even just white. So I would, if I was not worried. Yeah, you'd be fine with it. Chloe, you'd be fine with it. Lettuce. You'd be fine. Take, take this to you. Would you be fine with that outfit? Yes or no? No. Okay. Oh, we've got we've got uh we've got a um, mix of opinion there. Um oh. all right. Uh well this obviously as TikTok does, really divided people. Um, hopefully we've got a poll on this. If not, don't worry, we can move on to the next topic. I don't think there was a poll for this. If not, no, that's, oh, we have one. Is it okay to wear white to someone's wedding? No, 80%, yes, 20%. So Chloe, a completely white dress is obviously different to the dress that we saw. Yeah. To be clear, if someone just wore a white dress to your wedding, would you be happy with it? No, a little bit of fuming then, I think, I, I suppose. It's a bit different. It's just white, isn't it? Yeah. Because like, it, it had like... them things on it. It weren't too bad, but just white. I feel like it's a bit too far, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> sure. um, Jess? Yeah, if it was just white, I wouldn't be annoyed that she was wearing just white, but I would just be like, really weird that, um, really weird that you would do that. 
but I wouldn't be like, oh my god, my day's ruined, and I wouldn't say anything else, anything to anyone else. Yeah, as it were. Uh, let me, I'm going to guess this is a no for you as well. No. Okay. Well, let us have spoken. Um, and I think most of <laughs> most of us um do do uh, do agree uh, with Letters on that point. Um, we're gonna move on to the final topic now. Before we get on to the hot seat, which is a really fun part of the show, where you get to ask Jess any questions you like. But before then, we are nearly at Halloween. Um, do you like scary outfits? Do you like sexy outfits? We've got the classics with like bunnies, cats, etc. Or you've got the like full on clown, scary, scary vibes. Um, well, these Halloween outfits cost a lot of money. Um, I know for a fact that my Halloween outfit cost probably about 40, 50 quid last year. So I dressed Sorry. up in Cruella de Vil. Um, so oh, I nice. to get her the like the split split yeah. colored wig all <clears> sorts <throat> um and it, it's quite expensive not everyone you know especially in the times we're living in has got a spare 40 to 50 quid um at the moment uh, i know i don't apparently Think, just um, get, just put a plastic bag over your egg pan you don't need to do that oh yeah just a plastic bag that'll go, that'll go down well <laughs> um no but it essentially people are saying that they can't afford halloween this year um, do you think this is, um, you know, the cost of living crisis obviously affecting absolutely everything, Jess? We've spoken about this before, but I don't think we spoke about this directly with you because you haven't been on for a few weeks. Are you worried about the cost of living crisis? Yeah, definitely. It's crazy. I've noticed such a difference. Like, you know, usually mm -hmm. you don't notice when, um, when like prices go up, like you just think like it is what it is, but I've actually really noticed it. Like, was it Lurpax, like seven pound now, which is crazy. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's so worrying. Like it doesn't matter what industry you're in or like what your job is, like you should be worried for like everybody, not just yourself. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah. absolutely, absolutely. People can't afford to eat and stuff at the moment. It's so yeah. worrying. Um, Chloe, we've spoken about this before with you. Have you any more thoughts on the cost of living crisis? Are you doing anything differently? It's so sad, Pam. Like, I just really just think it's sad. I've been really watching the program, seeing how I can really like help the environment, stuff like that. I've been watching Frozen Planet, Pam, and I've been yeah, really trying, sweetie. Yeah, I think everyone's everyone's trying to to do their bit. Um, yeah. Lettuce, are you worried about the cost of living crisis? Lettuces are going up as well in price. Yes, less is <laughs> so, um, Slovian non. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. What about thrifting your Halloween costume to prevent useless fast fashion consumptions? Jess, what do you have to say back to that? Um, yeah, that's a very good idea. I was looking at um, Halloween costumes the other day on, was it called? Oh, I can't remember, was it Sheen? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, um, and I did think this is such a waste. Not even just like plastic and stuff, but money. Because yeah. you wear it once, you mess it up because you're obviously going to be drunk and whatnot. And then you chuck it in the bin. So yes, you should try and use stuff that's yeah. already about. Even stuff yeah. you've already got. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree with you. Slow van on. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yeah, oh, yeah it was quite a difficult, difficult one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Chloe... Yeah. Would you would you um, do uh, do something like that uh, this year? It's an excuse to dress up on it. Get that picture on Instagram. Get them likes. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But I don't usually do it. But this year I'm gonna probably buy an outfit, put it on in my bedroom, take a couple of pics, and just upload it. Yeah. Onto onto your social media. Um, yeah, just to get in the fashion. Like I just need to get in it. Very good. Um, lettuce, will you be dressing up for Halloween this year? Lettuce, though. <laughs> oh, bless her. Um, on, on the Daily Star stream of the lettuce, we did see lettuce really, um, really dress up. She was wearing a wig. She had googly eyes at some point. Mm -hmm. She really went to town. She had a disco as well. So I'm sure lettuce will be having a, an absolute ball uh, when, when Halloween comes around. Okay. Well, um, I think we took this to a 
poll is Halloween overrated? Yes, oh, over a bunch of grumps. Uh, no, love spooky season. Um, lettuce is Halloween overrated? No, I think we're all in agreement on that one as well. So we don't agree with your poll, but we do appreciate your votes. Okay, then um, we're going to go to the hot seat now. And this week, Woo! yes. Yay, be nice, please. I don't feel very well. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if we do have the promo. Absolutely fine. <laughs> We did have the promo, so that's good. News. Um, so welcome to the hot seat. If you're new to page three hot topics, this is the point in the show where you get to write in the comments any questions you would like to ask to Jess. We won't bring up anything which is inappropriate. Um so <laughs> those two PG. Um but Jess, you have to answer honestly and you can't say I don't know. You have to, yeah. you have to give a straight answer. Um <laughs> I'm going to go with the with uh, Chloe first. And Lettuce, if you've got a pen and paper near you that you can bring up a question to screen, um, and we'll take you off for a sec whilst Chloe asks a question whilst you go and find one, then that's absolutely fine. Oh, I've got my questions written down, P. Stroke a hairy spider or a snake? Spider. I hate snakes. That was easy. There you go. That was very easy. Okay, yeah. Chloe, quick fire. Next one. Sorry, Chloe. If you, if you if you had to date a prince, which one and why? Harry, because he's actually real, not not a cartoon. <laughs> I'm being really straightforward. Sorry, but yeah, no, uh, Prince Harry. Or do you mean like a Disney one? Because I don't really know any Disney princesses. So I'm gonna go no, for Harry. Harry. Yeah, Harry. Yeah. Okay, I've got one more. Go on. Um. Be so famous and rich or just rich? Just rich, 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd hate to be famous. I get cancelled within two minutes. So, yes. Just very, very rich, please. So, yeah. So rich. That was really yeah. easy. Just Thanks very, very Lovely hopefully, questions. Hopefully, Lettuce is back. Um, Why did you just type on. them in the box? I was going to say that I don't. Um, that would have been an easier option, but now she's gone off. <laughs> yeah. oh, well. I can do another. I can do another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit me with it. If you had one more like last day to live, what would you do on that day? Like... Oh my god, I don't actually. I think I just go absolutely mental and just do loads of weird things like skydives and have a big party and go to the casino and. It's like really weird stuff like that, you know? Like, lots of journey, stuff like that. Have a, have a big blowout. What would be your um, death row last meal, Jess? Um, oh. A roast dinner, but like an amazing roast dinner, I think. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. Really nice that I think like that's a, yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. I can't lie. Yeah. Yeah, mm. that, that, that is a good one. Okay. Yeah. Um, Jess? In five years' time, if you could have a magic wand, where mm. would you be living? What would you be doing? Um, yeah, where would you be living and what would you be doing? Um, I think in five years, I want to live in a really nice house. Like, you know them houses that look like um, like dolls' houses? Like one of them mm -hmm. in London somewhere. And I want to be, I don't know, really rich. And that's about it. And happy and healthy, I have to say those things just in case. Yeah, happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. What about pregnant? No, I didn't actually know how old would I be in five years? 32. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we can see where life takes us. Yeah. Um, lettuce, it's your time to shine. Ah, uh, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, oh my god, I was talking about this the other day. Um, I'd be invisible, I think. Because then, yeah, I'd go and do loads of weird stuff. And no one could see me do it. Invisibility mm -hmm. is probably the best one, I'd say that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That or, like, teleporting. So I could just, like, click my fingers and be... Yeah, that one. That's the same as me, yeah. Yeah. So if you had an invisibility cloak, would you go into people's houses without them knowing? 100%. Oh, I would as well, yeah. 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 
I do some really weird things. I'll be, I'll be in my ex's house, like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. That is toxic. We stay away from yeah. I'm Seven. still here. <laughs> <laughs> um, lettuce, your turn again. Best gift I've ever received. What is the best gift I've ever received? Oh, yes. <laughs> um. Uh, something that's really taken by surprise. Oh, my friends got me some goldfish when we were in like oh, that's uh, fun. school, and it was really unexpected, like really big surprise. So that's quite nice. Yeah, that is lovely. Yeah, in my adult years. No, how long but... did they die? Well, how long did they live? Sorry, Wait, one of them Stop. lived. <laughs> one of them lived for like two days, and then the other one lived for years. Oh, oh. That's what was their name, sir? Um, Cornelius and Lucian from Fairly Old Parents, I think. Can't remember. I think that's a cartoon. Amazing. Um, one Easy. final question from Lettuce. Go on, Lettuce. <laughs> Do us proud. I feel so bad for her, man. She's done this whole thing on mute. That's insane. We've never had that before. Has improvised. She really has improvised. Lettuce yeah. for the win. Lettuce is really killing it at the moment. She's oh, very clear handwriting. Would you go to Mars if you could? No, absolutely not. I would hate to go in a space shuttle. You know the training they have to do, and they have to go around in that horrible circular thing in the chair. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. it spins. Yeah, yeah. That, that alone, looking at that on the screen, makes me feel so poorly so no i would never leave this we'll get there well but if you could get there in another way like you didn't have to do that you could get there in like i don't know a plane say would you go up there and say yeah no i wouldn't no because of the breathing apparatus as well i remember once i went diving and basically had a panic attack like 12 feet underwater it's horrible so no i'm good on earth unless obviously we it all goes pete tong and then obviously i'll be the first to like want to go yeah. That sounds very scary. That could give me nightmares having a panic attack when your breathing apparatus underwater. Honestly, it's like it's insane. No. Mm. Don't do it, guys. No. Okay then. Well, let us thank you. Uh we do really appreciate That's the effort you've done. Okay. Um and thank you, Jess, as well, for coming on. And of course, Chloe. Um, that has been Hot Topics Day. It's been really fun. Uh, you can catch up with all of the hot topics over on our Instagram where we put up stories every day with the link uh to watch back on episodes, the playlist as well on Facebook. We've got on there. And if you're watching on Twitter, hello too. Um, thank you for all engaging, commenting, let us know what um, you know, letting the girls know what you're doing doing you can give all the follows as well um to the girls you put up a story um earlier so you can find them on there too girls thank you so much thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.